Britain has thousands of manufacturing companies, and perhaps the general public best know us for making things like cars, well, planes, trains, and automobiles. But actually, there are many companies that are designing and making their own products using their own innovative uh, techniques uh, and their indigenous British companies. Companies like Gripple. Gripple makes the eponymous wire tension joining device for a range of aquaculture, agriculture, and viticulture applications, really where a lot of uh, wire tensioning is required. But in the last few years, they've developed a lot of new product development. So how have they done it, and how have they got great ideas from their staff on this new innovation drive? So Gordon, we're here at Gripple in Sheffield. Please explain the company. What do you do? Uh, Gripple's a manufacturer of wire joining and tensioning devices. We've been going for 25 years. Uh, we have a turnover now of over 50 million. We're exporting to over 80 countries and 85% of our turnover um, is sold outside the UK. Now we're here to uh, debate innovation, product development, new ideas. And we chose Gripple because you're particularly good at this stuff. Uh, you've developed a lot of new products in recent years. Um, tell me a bit about the Gripple innovation process. Yeah, uh, innovation is at the core of what we actually do. Um, and what we actually fundamentally believe is that the only way uh, for a long-term business to survive is to be innovative. Um, and in terms of innovation, what that means is that we're constantly looking at new ways of doing things. So the process we adopt is really quite simple. We go out and we try and find problems. If we find a problem um, in a sector that um, we're capable of actually coming up for some solutions with, the great thing about it is if you do it well, the customer is actually going to buy the product. And hopefully if you do it exceedingly well, you'll end up with some really exciting margins. So it's about finding problems. Now, if you found a problem, you need to actually go back and double check and observe it time and time again. Um, so we go through that observation uh, phase of the process. The next stage is to start generating ideas. And you know, the really great innovation that we do is where we're encompassing a collaboration between ourselves, our suppliers, and our customers. And we come up with a range of um, solutions. Now, the first solution may not actually be the one that's really going to work, but I've come to believe that the really great thing that we do is we bring some insight ultimately. So we're looking for that nugget, um, the gem that actually enables us to come up with something that will, that will give us a long-term patentable product. So from that insight, we then go into prototyping quickly, and on a lean basis, because uh, whilst it would be great to come up with a product that's 100% tested um, and you've got everything nailed, the reality is we live in a fast moving world where technology is changing and there are short term opportunities. So we go for it and we bring a product to market quickly. Really interesting process. Let's go meet the other companies and go and have a look at the factory.